All right, we have another review here. And now uh, this is on the Benchmade Ruckus, as you can probably tell. This is the full-size 610 Ruckus. And it's the black the with the plain edge. So, here we go. Uh, you'll probably know that Benchmade does a, does a great work, and uh, this is no exception. This is just a really fantastic knife that I got, and this is all black. And um, it's gone through a lot of use with me. I'm, you know, I'm, The coating itself is held up pretty well. Uh, a little bit of coating loss, but I've chopped through holly, done a lot of cutting with it, and it's been about in use for a long time. As you can see the coating here, a lot of coating loss there. Um, on to the little, being a little bit more specific, um, the, the, the knife is a blackwood design, as you probably can guess. This is based on his uh, henchman. His henchman is a fixed blade, and this one is a folder, but is based on that design. The handles are exactly the same. They have the exact same contours. Um, even here, the choil is very, is very, very similar, nearly exact to the henchman. The henchman, however, I believe is um, it's a thinner blade. It's thinner and smaller. It's made to be a discreet carry knife. Hence the name henchman. But other than that, this is a great knife. It has excellent cutting geometry. Even though this thing isn't shaving sharp, but it has it cuts superbly compared to some other knives. And um, it's not a full hat flat grain, but I don't mind that. Um, uses the axis lock. It's very good. It's very strong. I've been able to stand on the axis lock. Not on this knife, but on the uh, on the Griptilian. I've been able to stand on the uh, axis lock open, and it's fine. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. Um, I really like the axis lock. It's just so simple to use, and it's... Oops. Oh, I don't have enough space to do that, but it's simple to use. One hand opening, one hand close. Let's see, there we go. But, um, handle material is two parts. Micarta on here, green Micarta, and you can swap these out for a couple of other materials, I believe. There's rosewood, carbon fiber, you have uh, uh, silver tool G10, black G10, uh, and there are a couple of other handle materials that you can also get. And this part here is just black G10. I really like the uh, handles on this. They're really well machined. Um, handles are also contoured, which is really nice. Makes it very comfortable. And I put a lanyard on this. Pot clip is also nice. It's deep carry. Uh, out of all the knives that are this size, this thing is just, it carries really, really well for um, a knife this size. And, um, I've had a, a few other bigger knives, but this one carries really well. I mean, it literally disappears. I can carry this. I can. I would. I can carry this inside the waistband and not notice it for the whole day. It, it's just that it carries that well, and um, I'm not. I'm seriously not joking. I've carried this inside the waistband for trips on hiking, and uh, I've had no problems. No, no problems on my own. No pain. You know. No. Uh, I guess chafing from the handle or the the butt here rubbing on my skin but other than that it's just a great knife to use and I like it a lot so S30V still is good stuff I like it, Badge does a good heat treatment a lot uh, so hope you enjoy the review